Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next uh, 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 10th of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Surgery Affairs and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll try a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us well into the second half of April. I'll get to my back for you in a moment. Just say about the first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. Check out both of today's bids. If you'd like to do that, like, share and subscribe. On today's videos and content, thank you so much everyone for doing that. Uh, I'm going to say thank you so much to John Brannan. Thank you so much, John, for your incredible donation to uh, Gav's Weather Boots. That's absolutely amazing, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, I'm so pleased that you're enjoying the uh, content that we're doing, <clears throat> excuse me, on the channel at the moment. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, John. For your uh, donation to uh, Gav's Weather, Gav's Weather Vince. If you'd like to give a donation to Gav's Weather Vince, all you need to do is come to our PayPal page, sign into your PayPal account, and uh, donate what you like to uh, Gav's Weather Vince, and uh, we'll give you a shout out in the videos if you would like one. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. It's helping to pay for the channel and be able to do all of this for everyone. So thank you, thank you so much to each and every one of you for doing that. Special thank you to John. And by the way, the link to pay my page is in the description with the video. And I'll share it on the uh, socials the other night as well. Uh, right, thank you so much, everyone. And thank you uh, so much, John. Right, let's crack on with the video. Then we can start off with the latest win from that from earthnoschool.net. High pressure is dominating the weather over uh, the country and around that would bring the wind up potentially, well, not quite at the moment, but almost from a southerly southeast direction. And as the week progresses, we're going to bring more of that southerly air and push it north or so. Uh, but the trend is a warming one through uh, the rest of the week until about Friday, and then we probably switch back to northeasterlies and turn things a bit cooler again. But high pressure will be dominating weather throughout the week, so lots of dry weather uh, to come. Central temperature has uh, moved up now to 7.9, makes 2.2 degrees, above 61 to 99 average provisional to yesterday to the uh, 30th of the month. I reckon that might get to 8.0 uh, when that uh, updates for the final time tomorrow, so we shall see about that, but it's certainly been a mild March again. These were GFS up rare temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Uh, looking at London today, the red line is the 30-year up rare temperature average for London. Starting off above average with your rare temperatures at the moment. And keeping them above average, really, uh, for the next uh, week to 10 days. There's a bit of a cooling trend, perhaps, into the middle part of the month. That's a long way off, though, of course. And even then, there's a lot of scatter. Uh, so we've got the uh, warmer ensemble members, the PA cooler ensemble members are down there. Look at that, and you can't see any particular troposphere response to the strat warm. It is, I think, increasingly looking like this will be a sudden stratospheric warming event that does not, or events, uh, but does not have a troposphere response this time. Precipitation-wise, lots of dry weather to come through the first 10 days of April. In fact, no rainfall spikes at all, really. And even uh, at the end, we only have a few turning up. So it looks like it's going to be a really dry first half to April after what is uh, one of the driest marches but uh, we've recorded as well temperature anomalies for the next five days up to 5th of april are coming out above average uh, and uh, what we're talking about the uh, day temperature anomaly is looking like that so a little bit cooler maybe for eastern regions above average in the north west 10 to 14 day again a little bit above average that gets us to the 14th of march and precipitation anomalies are coming out drier than normal in all areas for the next seven days and the 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly is all also drier than average. Okay, let's start going through the chart data. Then we have the latest UK mate Euro run is looking for midnight on Thursday. High pressure dominating weather. Winds coming in from south. It should be a pretty warm day, I think, on Thursday. Bit of a change in wind direction through uh, Friday, Saturday to more of a northeast. It could bring in uh, more cloud and some slightly cooler temperatures as well. And then we see that high pressure right over top of the country up to the 7th of April. Again, it brings lots of dry weather with that high pressure going nowhere fast. I can't. What's more, with high pressure in the 
ascendancy on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday into next week as well. Still dominated by that large anti-cyclone gets to the 7th of April high and dry. How's the KMA looking? So again, we see loads and loads of high pressure, but maybe slightly cooler uh, with the uh, wind uh, at the end of week into the weekend. We aren't all that far away from pulling into really quite cold air, actually across much of northern, uh, central and eastern Europe there. Uh, we're very close to tapping into that, but just not quite. The high pressure just doesn't quite go far enough northwest to allow us to do that. So we just keep it high and dry, and uh, mostly fine weather all the way up to 288 hours. That gets us to be, um, that gets us to, hold on, where are we going, where are we going, where are we going, uh, right, that gets to 12th April, sorry, I was looking at the wrong time stamp, <laughs> that gets us to the 12th of April, I uh, for a horrible moment, I thought, I thought that was, um, uh, never mind, I thought that was forecasted for today, but no, that's right, that's the 12th of April, okay, so we've got high pressure there, uh, up to the north and northwest, over southeast, bring wind in from the northeast, and so a bit cooler by then, and a little bit more showery at the end with the KMA. Very dry run mode once more. GFS Midnight Run is all much of a match this for Thursday and into Friday too. Weekend dominated by high pressure as well. And then into next week, high pressure right over top of country. It brings loads of dry fire weather around days 9 and 10. Beyond that, we just start to move high pressure a little bit more towards Greenland and Iceland. I guess it's to uh, just beyond day 10, day 11, which is the length of April. And then we're starting to pull down that uh, northeasterly wind. So it's starting to go a little bit colder uh, then. Upper air Look impressively cold for Northern Europe. Got minus 10 and minus 15 Celsius icebergs there sitting over Scandinavia, Nordic, and Baltic regions. That's really quite impressive, I think, for like 12th of April. Um, I imagine that's pretty unusual to be quite that cold that late in the spring. Uh, we're not as cold as that, of course, but we are cold. We've got minus 5 Celsius icebergs through the country, possibly cold enough for wintry showers and a return as ever of a dreaded night for us. <laughs> right at the end of a GFS uh, run, we bring the tight road, we bring this low pressure down from the northwest. That starts to bring some uh, showery rain with it. So the GFS midnight run does turn cooler or colder and more unsettled up to the middle of the month. What about the six Z? Well, again, we've got high pressure in over the country through the end of week and into the weekend as well. High and dry throughout uh, weekend into next week too. Next week too. Um, that high pressure going nowhere. So today, ten we're still under that 1,035 millibar area of high pressure there on the GFS 6M. In the very extended range, it does weaken a little bit and starts to allow perhaps some uh, slightly lower pressure to come in from off Atlantic. So possibly by mid-April, we're turning uh, somewhat showery. But I mean, it's a long way off, and even then, it's not a definitive return to unsettled conditions. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're for doing that. Make sure you drop a comment and let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers and get them to subscribe too. Uh, we thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Love it. Thank you so much. Uh, unbelievable. Need to put on around 88, 87 subscribers to get to 19.7k. Uh, so if you could give us a sub, please can you consider doing that. Right. GM, what's more, what's more, with high pressure in control on Thursday and it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> all dominated by high pressure. By Wednesday, high pressure is showing signs of uh, slight retrograde going up towards Greenland and Iceland. That perhaps allows some cooler air to begin to move in from the uh, northeast, but not cold. That's high pressure got to go further north and, and centre over Greenland to properly tap into uh, Arctic condition. But uh, high and dry with the and then the uh, ECM rounding it all off with high pressure dominating timber weather on Thursday and Friday into the weekend. It's all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. And uh, eventually by day 10, again, similar to the gem, the high pressure trying to get up towards Greenland, Iceland and bring in some sort of northerly, northeasterly. Nothing much comes about. High pressure just slips southwards again and allows milder air to come back in over the top. And we end up with the ECM looking like that by the uh, 15th of January, uh, April, I should say. Uh, we've got low pressure north, high pressure to the south, and um, I was just bringing in like a westerly flow, really. So, uh, again, there's no sign, absolutely no sign there of a tropical response to the strapped warm. 
This is a precipitation forecast based on that in Chevron. But it's better, can't we won't dwell on this too long because I don't think there's going to be much precipitation to uh, <laughs> to look at. So, uh, you know, just rattle through day by day. It's dry, dry, dry. So uh, get 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 beyond that. Um, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today uh, for day 10. And it gets us to the 10th of April. 18 members of the ECF from the Icelandic Red Topics. 18 members of the ECF on songs with high pressure to the north and to the northwest. So mostly dry, but quite chilly with that. Winds will be coming down like a northwesterly direction. 16, high pressure over country. 9, high pressure over country again. And uh, 8, high pressure a little bit more to the west. Low, low pressure over Scandinavia. Uh, that could be a bit colder with a bit of a northerly flow as well. They're all high pressure dominated though. Uh, day 10 and then in two weeks time uh this gets us to the 15th of april we some the options that we've got 27 members of the east Shem ensembles look like they're bringing lower pressure in from the atlantic not necessarily low pressure but lower pressure uh we've got uh, another 15 with a trough through the north and west of europe a ridge blocking around greenland and that brings down potentially quite a cold north northeast throat, so colder and unsettled there and then we've got uh, another nine with high pressure to the east, low pressure's out to the west. Now we bring the wind up from a southerly or a southwesterly direction. That's going to be uh, milder, uh, but uh, still mostly dry, I would have thought, though. There could be some wet weather in the north and west. So it's all high pressure day 10. I mean, possibly a bit of a change by day 14. Have to wait and see. Uh, CFS Beach, you finally meet a 500 millibar high tons, broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will take us from the 31st of March to the 6th of April. High and dry in the week ahead, uh, and not much more to say, really. <laughs> uh, week two will be the 7th to the 13th of April. Uh, high pressure, perhaps more towards Greenland and Iceland, then. So trying to pull in uh, a bit of a cold and north northeast flow. This chop probably got to back a bit further westwards, though, to uh, properly tap into a, a proper Arctic northerly or northeasty. But nevertheless, probably a bit colder there for week two. Uh, week three <laughs> will be the 14th to the 20th of April. High pressure down towards Spain. Low pressure towards Greenland and Iceland. And a westerly flow coming across the Atlantic then and then uh, week four will be the 21st to 27th of April low pressure around Iceland high pressure down towards Spain and to our east there's also a block towards Greenland so a bit of a complicated path but I think over we're probably pretty mild there and bring the wind in from the southwest not overly unsettled either I wouldn't have thought We'll see. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please give a like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to open for dear Matt. Drop a comment, let us know. We think about this and all our videos, content, live streams, etc., etc., etc. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Webbers and get them to subscribe to you. And we thank you everyone for doing that for us. If you could afford a little donation for Gals Webbers, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. My eyes are really, really bad. So I'm going to get offline in a moment. But just to say, back to coming up tomorrow, we've got 6 m forecast. We've got the extended European Outlook and that'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. So I shall see you for tomorrow's content. But for this one, that's all for now. Enjoy the rest of your Monday and thanks for watching. Bye for now.